Hello friends and welcome back to Bitfumes Angular 5 series and in this episode we are going to see how we can include our bootstrap CSS file in our Angular project. So with that I am your host Sarthak and this is a channel where you will get to know various things about web development and related things. So if you have not subscribed please go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see how we can include. So firstly we have to start our server for angular. So let's get start the server and to start a server for our angular project we need to simply say ng serve hyphen o hyphen o will open the server or the page in our chrome browser. So we have this chrome browser and in a few seconds it's here and we have created a Pokemon list in our angular project and which is like this but you can see there is no styling for this but I want some kind of styling so why not use bootstrap so let's go to bootstrap that means get bootstrap.com and get started here we have to go to downloads and in the downloads part you will get this npm script so let's copy this one from here and open new tab here I will paste and hit enter we just want CSS files and here you can see bootstrap 4 is installed properly and it also require this popper.js and jQuery but as I told you we just want CSS files okay so now if I go to my sublime and go to this source and here we have this styles.css here we have to import our bootstrap file so why not check where is the bootstrap so let's go to bootstrap oops I'm writing here no I don't have to write so bootstrap is here and this dist then CSS and where is the bootstrap dot min dot CSS yeah here it is so I want this one so why not grab its path so copy path and here I will say firstly at import then inside here this one and the whole path and just close this so let's see the result here in our terminal okay so it's having lots and lots of error so the problem is here we don't have to use this just double dot and backslash no forward slash and yes it's compiled successfully this means this style.css all the stylings included in this page is applied to all of the project this is a global styling okay so let's just close all these in node modules part and here now go to app and pokemon and instead of pokemon let's go to this app.component.html and you can see it is like this so why not create all these things inside a container so let's go to index.html and here my root will has to be inside of container so container and let's grab this and move it here so this means if I go to Chrome you can see we are getting this margin here and that's because of container we are using okay but obviously I want this has to be something styled so let's go to bootstrap and search for some component from yeah list group okay so this list group let's copy this one and I want this list group to be here so I think if this kind of uh, functionality we get this will be header and then all these things like that so let's copy this one instead and now go to our pokemon component go to html part and here let's just paste this and yeah let's see the result and yes it's here so if you want you can give margin type things so uh, call of only four and then let's give offset of uh, four so 
let's see the result and yes it's at center so why not move all these things and I just want one ally because now I'm going to use this one so let's cut this out from here paste it here and now uh, instead of this I need this class so copy this one from here and simply give class of this ally and for the heading purpose I have to give active so why not remove this from here and get this one create an ally give a class of list group item with an active class also and list of pokemons okay so now I can remove all these things and even I can uh, wanna give this uh, call and offset in a uh, div so div having a class of this one and now what I have to do I have to move this one to here and all these things also to here okay and give this input of uh, form control control okay and this is I think <laughs> pretty awesome thing and if I click here yes electric is here and right you oops Pikachu spelling is wrong <laughs> so let's check and correct it so maybe this is because of list so Pikachu -a. <laughs> so Pikachu only not a that's nice great everything is working fine so in this way you can uh, add a global styling to your project like bootstrap we have used and it's super easy you don't have to do much work so in the next episode maybe we will work on some kind of event binding or condition binding but whatever will be the episode that will be a great tutorial for you and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and if you have problem just feel free to message me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram don't forget to like perfumes on these platforms and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye